Hello friends. I've been busy. I've got three of the windows out and uh, I've got the last one here to take out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill this here. It's about one inch thick and I'm going to fill this with a piece of uh, foam, one inch thick foam. I'm going to cut it to the size and put it in here. Then I'm going to put a um, panel in here which is going to be birch, probably quarter ply. And uh, i got to take this window out still. What they are is they're two-part windows. They're held on with, with uh, these screws here. And um, you pull them out and you have an inside ring right here that holds the window in. Then you um, have the actual window right here. <clears throat> And these aren't like the other windows that I've seen on RVs. These actually have a rubber strip inside of them, right here. And they're still pretty pliable, but some of these windows were leaking. So I think I'm going to have to take all the windows out and reseal them. So what we have here is about one inch thick. And it looks like cardboard honeycomb that has a wax on it. And that's what the insulation is in here. It looks like it'd be pretty effective. Okay, I'm going to get busy taking this other window out. I'll take you along for that one so you can see how I'm doing it. Um, I'll be back with you. Okay, let's finish taking this window out. Oh, a little word of advice. Whenever you're doing something like this where you have older screws that are a little bit corroded, put yourself a new tip on here. It'll save you from stripping them and trying to drill them out and causing yourself all sorts of hassle. a tough one. Okay, better be careful that window doesn't fall out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up so I got something to grab. So there's the retaining ring. And this window being not sealed in with mastic or anything with just the rubber seal on it, all you gotta do is give it a little and now it comes. Give you a little closer look at that gasket here. See, it's just a little rubber gasket. Now this one feels kind of squished. Hmm. Well anyway, put this away. There we are. I'll panel it from here on down to the top of the bed and to this corner. And that should look pretty good. It'll be a lot better than this white. Of course. So I'm making a pattern for the foam that I'm going to put in the window. The one inch uh, structural foam. And um, I've cut a piece of uh, corrugated cardboard and taped it to the outside of the bus. And I'm just going to take my Sharpie I'm going to go around this. I got a little goof there. There. And that should make me a really accurate pattern. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out, cut it out, and then I'm going to lay it onto the uh, one inch foam board. And uh, I'm going to make some window plugs. I know my uh, videos have been kind of shaky because I've been all handheld and I can only use one hand. Well, I was looking over in our uh, um, secondhand and salvage store and I found this sitting here. It's extendable. It'll go up to six feet. 
I put a little bit of Velcro there and a little Velcro on the camera and this thing will extend. It swivels and it turns. It's made for a camera to clip on right here but um, I don't have that mount on the phone so well I'll just keep on using my phone for right now and I'll just stick it to that when I'm doing demonstrations and that will uh, keep the phone nice and steady and hopefully a little more pleasant to watch. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Hmm. Well, anyway. Okay, I got the pattern cut. Right here. I just fitted it to the window. Fits fine. So I went ahead and put, cut, I mean, um, transferred the pattern to this uh, foam board. And I'm going to cut it out with the jigsaw. Let's see if this works. There it is. Let's go see if it'll fit. Okay, let's give it a test. <laughs> Bing! Right out of the box. That is great. Hey, we're coming to the end of this video, but there is one couple, well, a couple more little things I'd like to show you. Um, in this uh, area on the bus that I put the wall in for, well, let me turn this around. Okay, I got it turned around. Man, I'm such a goof sometimes. I'll get it down eventually. But this wall where I was gonna put the inverter and the, uh, uh, on-demand hot water heater and all the 12 volt electrical. I built the uh, little shelf in here just to hold all the little doodads you need on the road. And I did leave this end open here because when I put the uh, the heater right here, I need I need to run all the electrical and stuff down through here, and that will go underneath here and into that cabinet. Here I go waving the camera around again, making everybody nauseous. And I got four of the windows out. I know it's a little dark in here right now, but uh, these two front ones where the bathroom's going to be, these two are staying in. Then I've got the back two in. I'm getting ready to panel this wall. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed our day and. Uh, Leave me a comment if you didn't like the bike ride. I don't know if, uh, you know what everybody's into. I just thought it might be interesting. Okay, I'll catch you on the next one. I'll have another video out in a couple days.